Well, the news of Jacob Zuma's incarceration may seem unbelievable for some. This is a man who spent time in jail on Robben Island for his defiance of the apartheid regime. But Zuma is also a man who led this country during a time of deep corruption and state capture. Either way you look at it, his arrest marks a historical moment for South Africa. And to discuss just that, Struggle Stalwart and the ANC's former Deputy Secretary General, Cheryl Carolus, joins us now. Cheryl, uh, thanks so much for your time. How did you process the news? Uh, it must have come as something of a shock, although it was expected. Good morning to you and the viewers again. Yes, it, it, was, uh, it was quite a relief, I must say. Uh, and as you indicated earlier, Judith, it was actually a sad moment that it had to come to this um, and quite unnecessary that there was so much, uh, yeah, I, I think the less said about how we got to this point, but it's a wonderful time for the resilience of our country and for the, the strength of our constitution. It's quite a healing day. Uh, because we have we've started the journey to just reassert the rule of law, uh, the supremacy of our constitution, and the importance of accountability. And those are very important things because they were things which got us to where we are a decent democracy in the world. And then those were just trampled on and hurt and pained us very deeply as a nation. And so, yes, I think yesterday was a, was a good new beginning for us as a nation. And I hope that South Africans will take courage from the power of civil society and of our constitution and the strength and the resilience of our institutions. And in this case, our constitutional court and the judges there. I must say I am grateful to President Zuma for having chosen, albeit right at the very 11th hour, to in fact choose dignity and to do it in the manner that he did. And I am grateful to those who had in fact helped to get him to that point. And so I do want to ask that we as South Africans must allow the former president and his family the privacy and the dignity to get used to a situation that cannot be easy for them. And that we actually allow our country and starting from our citizens in Kandla to the African National Congress and the National Executive Committee and our cabinet to begin to focus on what matters to this country. The fact that we have a COVID crisis and we have an economy in desperate need of restoration. And so I'm relieved and I'm proud. So true, Cheryl, and people are struggling to breathe. And I, I think, you know, talking about COVID, but there was also the sense that the country was on tenterhooks. We were all waiting to exhale mm -hmm. because there was this fear that uh, the dignified exit was not going to happen and that there was mm -hmm. going to be some kind of bloodshed. Uh, and that was mentioned several times by Zuma's lawyers who akin it to a possible Marikana. What are your thoughts on a possible presidential pardon? I think that uh, we really must not get over ourselves now. I think we need to embrace a good outcome from a very, very unnecessary and totally unfortunate set of circumstances that our country just didn't need. But we're in a good place now. And presidential pardons, there's a very clear process, quite a simple process actually for how it happens. And uh, sh the former president uh, knows what those are. And if it is an option that he chooses to exercise, uh, I have no doubt that he would be of a mind to consider the due process. 
And I think we as South Africans must also accept that uh, when we say that all shall be equal before the law, then that must apply in all respects and equally to the former president who is now in prison. And if he chooses to avail that, and uh, the law must then take its course. Cheryl, before I let you go, do you have any insight as to how intense uh, the negotiation must have been yesterday uh, and, and last night uh, and how actually Jacob Zuma was convinced and his family was convinced for him to take that dignified exit? Look, I think that we all understand that this was not an easy um, it was not an easy option. I'm trying to keep myself in your picture <laughs> because I'm sitting on an iPad outside of a meeting. Um, it was not an easy process. Uh, I don't think anybody discusses going to prison uh, as an easy way as a family and certainly not as a country. I mean, our country would taken to the wire. And I certainly hope that Others who are in a similar position as the former president would take a leaf from this and just stop their nonsense. We just don't need this. Can we all just be dignified, avail ourselves of due process and behave like proper South Africans worthy of a constitution such as what we have? Cheryl Carolus, thank you so much for coming out of your meeting to talk to us and uh, give us your sage words of wisdom. Uh, Struggle stalwart and former ANC Deputy Secretary General Cheryl Carolus there.